Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Lunatic Cultist playthrough. So, it's episode 3, and I have a new agenda. Today I want to do the Queen Bee, and I also want to get Skeletron done. So, we're going to pick up directly after last episode, because there isn't much time to spare. And the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to finish the Shadow Armor set, because we've already had two pieces for free. So, it really just makes sense to finish it, so I'll craft that swap that over. I'm also going to make a pickaxe in case I need it for a hellstone or obsidian. And then I think we're literally good to go after that. So I'll take that, leave uh, leave this behind in the dirt and uh, and basically be on my way. I'm going to sell the um I'm going to sell the musket as well just because we won't be needing that. And then I can uh, kind of pocket away all the gold for that. So I'll sell that. I'll uh hmm, well I've got no reason to sell that. I'll sell that. And I think we're good. I think we're good to go after that. So I'm going to put my stuff into here. And then I'm off to the jungle biome. Because I'm going to do the queen bee first. I was hoping that by going to do the queen bee first, I could um, speed things along when coming to like finding things in that. Because I already know where a queen bee biome is. And I think we're ready for it. And it'll be a good, like, a good way to uh, collect stars on the way. Oh, and we've already got a meteorite. Oh, man. Oh, that's good, because you can literally just blow those up, get a full set of meteorite armor, and get a space gun for free. Oh, do I want that? I'm not too sure if I want that or not. I feel like I'm pretty good right now with just shadow armor. Okay, this is awesome. Got a good amount of stars. We can use the vile thorn in the future then. That's what I'm kind of aiming towards. So at the minute, my biggest problem is mobility. I actually don't have, uh, well, I don't have much health, and I also don't have much... Uh, much items, much items, many items in sense of uh, traveling and such. I could do with a cloud in the bottle. I could do with uh, just anything really to help me move a little bit better. But I should be good. I should be good. We're going to be fine. So they actually updated the mod after the first two episodes to add a, uh, a countdown. So we can now look exactly how many days we have left until the apocalypse. I'll leave it, a, uh, I'll leave it spoiler free for now. When we hand in the next mask, we'll have a little look at the time. But I actually think we're doing fantastic so far. Like, I uh, I looked at the time. Because obviously, we were guessing before. Like, I had no idea when it would happen. Um, and I was I was kind of hoping that I was doing alright. But I actually have been doing alright. So, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, for every mask we hand in, we get an extra day's worth of time before the apocalypse starts. And when the apocalypse starts, guys, that's it. It's over. <laughs> that's literally it. And I was looking at all your pre I was looking at all your predictions. You guys are uh, you guys are going to be in for a treat, I think. I I feel like I don't want to Romic McScumbag myself, as in jinx myself, but I feel like we're going to be fine. All right, super dark. I know. We're just going to get to the jungle as fast as possible. Oh my god, look at all these fallen stars though. Okay, man, that slime hook is making its uses. All right, we're in the jungle. So that's good at least. I'm gonna craft these into uh, into mana crystals. One, two, three. And then now we can use the vile thorn if needed because it's mythical. It's like fantastic. We can see what happens. So I know where the queen bee biome is. So I guess we're gonna go there straight away. And then after that, I want to explore below. Well, I want to see what I can find, but I also want to explore down to hell. Try and grab some obsidian now. For when we're making the uh, for when we're making the hellstone, just kind of go from there. All right, I feel like I'm out of torches, so I'll craft a few more up. Okay, let's have a little look at this. So this is where we need to be. This is where I think a chest will be. I'll have to bear that in mind. And I've got to be careful in here because I actually, once again, don't have much mobility. I also don't have much health. I'm feeling confident, but I don't have much uh, much to really go for here. Okay, let's see. Can I... Have I got bombs? No. Oh, wait, I do. Okay, where's that? The marble biome's here, right? So I'm going to blow down through here. Just to kind of speed this up a little bit. Although my mining is quite fast, so this should be alright. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Okay, open that up. Let's see, is there anything in here? There should be some kind of, uh, some kind of chest. There usually is. Nothing? Alright, okay, nothing. I will take that moon glow with me, though, because we'll probably need that for the future. Right, 
Let's, let's mine through to here. Grab this moon glow. Potions are going to be super crucial in like speeding up our uh, our time, I think. So is there literally nothing up here? I don't feel like there is. Let's see. Nope, nothing at all. Okay, all right. That was a <laughs> that was a waste of time, but it doesn't matter. We got the moon glow at least. And like I say, I'll use the moon glow later on. Right. So our queen bee biome is here. Got more moon glow. So I guess we just have to try and get into here as easy as possible. Oh, without spawning a hornet on me. Oh, there's the bees. <laughs> the bees are coming in. Oh my god, bee, get out of my way. Oh, I hate bees with a, with a shotgun. They're the worst. Right, let's dig our way into this. Let's hopefully not set anything off as we do it. Oh, I'll take that honey though. Okay, please don't trigger anything. Otherwise, I will not be ready for this. Okay, so there's the lava. Oh, wow. just realized how animated that lava is. Okay, let's see. Right. This is actually a decent-sized biome. I'm actually really happy with this. Okay, using up the rest of our wood to make all the platforms for this. So I'm going to have one low-layered one here. I'll do it here. And then, because I don't have the mobility, this is genuinely going to rely on me being able to grapple upwards. So I need to set a grapple layer, which will be about here. So it'll kind of work like this. Up one layer, down a layer, up one layer, down a layer. That's how it's going to work, I think. So I'll do one down. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. Right. I'm going to turn my platforms back into wood if I can. I'm going to also block this off. Oh, snap. Right, now I've got to be careful because obviously I don't want to trigger this. And I've got to be careful of poison. So I'm going to layer this over here. Right. Well, let's have a little look. So yeah, I can turn them back into wood. So I've got 13 wood. I'll make... Well, I can't make a campfire out of that. I'll make a few more torches instead. There we go. Yeah. Right. Okay, cool. And I could do with a honey pool. So what I'll do is... Right, once again, I've got to be careful not to trigger anything here. I'll put blocks under here to there, and we'll see if we can make a honey pool here. Okay, so nothing so far. That's fine. Right, I'm going to be using my boomstick for this as well, just to uh, just to even it all out, because the boomstick has been pretty good to us so far. I could do with a little bit more. Oh, there we go. That should be the perfect amount, right? I could do with another uh, another block there, actually. So if we dip into here, it gives us nothing so far. Okay, we'll do that again. We'll see. Okay, is that going to be enough to dip in? All right, okay, that's fine. Right, so boomstick at the ready. This is going to rely on uh, me, being able, me being able to uh, to grapple up or not. So I'll grab a few more seconds of thingy and we'll go. Okay, good. All right. Okay. All right, I might actually buy a fawn here. <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> all right, is that hitting all right? Yeah, that's hitting fine. Okay, good. And then we'll swap to the boomstick when we want it. I don't actually know which one's doing more, though, to be honest. So I'll just kind of leave it at this. All right, doing good, though. We're hitting the bees. I'll pick up the, uh, the mana when I can. Alright, good, good. Okay. Let's see. Are you going to charge me? No. So yeah, I'll pick up mana when I can. If I can't get mana, I'll swap to the boomstick. We'll just see. This feels pretty good because I'm able to uh, to destroy the bees as they're spawned in. Oh, there's a little bit more uh, thingy here. Right, I'll grab my, uh, my honey buff. We'll see. Right, back to the boomstick. Okay, got some free mana there. All right, it should charge in a second, right? Are you going to charge, Queen Bee? It should charge, at least. All right, no charge. Okay. 
Wow, it's really dragging this one out. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Right, I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave a layer for it. Like that. Oh, wow. It just, it just continues to go. <laughs> Actually kind of surprising. I'm not going to lie. I could do with those mana stars. So give them here. Right, we'll take our buff with us. Cool. Alright, we're not doing too bad here. We're not doing too bad. Man, I remember when this was my worst boss. Like, I would always die to the Queen Bee, no matter what. Oh, and that's even, like, this is normal mode. That's even without normal mode. <laughs> okay. Alright, back to the, uh, back to the bee spawning. Back to the bee spawning. But this is doing good. We're doing good for time as well. Come on now. There we go. Right, awesome. Oh, snap. A beekeeper? Awesome. Awesome. That's really, really good, actually. Because, look, that's 14. This is uh, 27. And then, did we also get any bee nades? We didn't get any bee nades, but we got some beeswax to do it with. All right, awesome. Awesome. Let's see here. I'm just going to quickly Valform my way out of this. Right, now the plan next is to leave. We're going to leave, and then what we're going to do is we're going to raid as much of the jungle as we can, because I need the mobility for later on. Like, I'm going to need it in hard mode. We could also really do with a, uh, a goblin army spawning in, so we can find the goblin at least. Okay, let's see. So, like I say, Operation Raid the Jungle is afoot. Okay. Right, let's, uh... Come here, let's actually grab those glow sticks. We do actually need those now. Okay. Right, the plan is essentially just to fall. Hey, Heart Crystal. Awesome. Okay, second Heart Crystal as well. Great, we'll take both of those now, just in case. Oh, piranha, piranha. Gotta be careful here. Oh yeah, the bees don't work in water, do they? Say what deal, grenades. <laughs> Right, so we've already found our temple. Right, I think what we might want to do is blow down here. So, like, blow down to maybe above the temple. Whereabouts are we? Right, let's see. Let's mine through here. Okay. Bees, do you think? Do you think? There we go. Oh, my God. I can't believe we've got a beekeeper. That's going to be so handy for the wall of flesh. Like, I'm not 100% sure if we'll use it, but uh, it's so handy. Okay, what time is it? It's half past 11. Ah, right. I could really do with, um... See, I could do with finding a bunch of stuff, but I could also really do with just getting back up to do Skeletron now, because obviously we're going to run out of time before actually setting things up. So we could always come back here. Right, flare gun, flares. I'll take the Jester. Oh, the Grav? Oh, that's awesome. I needed the Grav. I'll take that as well. A cobalt helmet. Wow, what is with the look on these ancient helms, man? <laughs> That's the third piece of ancient armor we've had. Okay. Well, it seems like there might be something up in the uh, top right on the map, so I might head up there now. And then that will give me time to go back to the uh, back to the surface, make my way to uh, Skeletron and get set up for it. All right, I've got to be careful here because I am poisoned. Okay. Right, at least we know there's going to be a hut up here because we can already see the beam support. Right, here's one. Here's the first one. Right, flower boots. Jeez, I haven't seen those in, in months. I don't think, I, honestly, I haven't seen a pair of flower boots in months. I'll take the, I'll take the jester. I'll take these just because I need them. All right, then there should be one more. So we'll go and see what's in here. A sharpening station. Oh, Hermes boots. Yes. I'll take... Oh, my God. With menacing as well? Yeah, sure, dude. I'll take those. And then I'll take these. I'll take the sharpening station just for later. Oh. My mouse won't scroll. Okay, I'll take that. All right, let's see. Anything else up here? Okay, no. Just a boulder. <laughs> I'm all right. I don't want to get bouldered. Okay, right, so we'll 
quick stack anything away that we uh, that we're using. Let's see. Let's look at our potions here. Grab and Spelunker. Okay, what we'll do is we'll head to the um We'll head to Skeletron now, but what we'll do is we'll grab potion there. So we'll use the grabs as we go. Now I could really do some day bloom. Oh snap, got one piece. I'll take that. So I can now make if I grab a mushroom. I can now make some some regen. I'm going to make regen for this fight. All right, I need to put some stuff away real quick. Is there any time? I don't feel like there's any time to do that. Even though we've got a, an inventory full of stuff, I'm going to leave it for now. Right, so the jungle is that way. So that means that the uh, Skeletron fight is this way. I'm going to have to gather some trees while I'm there, though. So if we don't find anything this way, then we'll know that there's no floating islands this way. If we do, we do. That's all good. Oh man, this uh, this beekeeper is going to be good for getting rid of uh, the little harpies because these can home in on them. All right, awesome. This is going to be good. I don't know if I could do a a mechanical boss with a a grab potion because it does kind of churn my stomach a little bit. But we shall see. We shall see. Okay. Let's go. So we really don't have any extra mobility here, like in the slightest. We don't have any kind of like cloud in a bottle or anything like that. So this might be a tricky fight. But I've got a feeling that it'll be alright. I've got a feeling it'll be alright. And then we can uh, loot the uh, loot the dungeon. See what kind of things we'll need. I I'll take a cobalt shield. I'd also kind of take a, uh, a demon key. A shadow key rather. I'd take a shadow key just so I can... Um, Oh, was I not near the sky then? I'll take it. I'd take a shadow key as well, just so I can kind of loot anything out of the uh, hell when we're down there. So I didn't grab my obsidian because what I've done is I've decided to come back and do this instead. Hey, floating island, awesome, man. That's almost enough for me. That was almost enough for me to give up. Actually, I was like, nah, we got no chance. All right, praying for a. Uh, for a, a, a lucky horseshoe here. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Alright, Star Fury, I'll take it. I'll take the coins as well. I'll take the iron bars. So not too bad. Alright, then we should probably fall down. See what is below. Oh, snap. Okay, it's a desert. With water leaf, I'll take the water leaf. I need the water leaf for later on. I'll need them for our obsidian potions, won't I? So I'll take the water leaf, kill the vulture, vultures. Oh my god, we're so powerful right now in terms of like bows and stuff. All right, are we are we past the dungeon? All right, we are. All right, well I'm gonna use the the rest of my grab potion just to loot under here to see if we can find anything of use. Uh, 25 seconds left on that. Alright, I'll take those. Oh, I could do water walking boots. Please give me water walking boots. That would be the perfect combo. No, okay. Oh, oh, the regen! Alright, I need to get out of here because otherwise I'm going to die. Oh my god, my health is dropping so fast. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> that was maybe a bit too risky. I could have done with the regen though. Free regen potions, I'd have taken them. Because we've got a little bit of time to kill anyway. So all right, what I've got to do here is I have to, um, I've got to kind of cut down these trees because we actually don't have any wood to build any platforms with. Man, I've not had flower boots in honestly months. I don't know if I've had flower boots since the launch of 1.3. It's been that long. Like I have one set of flower boots to my name. This is the second one. Wow, I'm actually really impressed by that. I know that's kind of delayed, but I am really impressed with it. We also have a boss master hand in, so we're going to have two in a minute. Okay. that is that going to be enough? It probably won't be. I want a little bit of extra mobility in this one. Just because we're, we're a little bit of a loss with no clown in a bottle. And I didn't get my uh, lucky horseshoe, which I could have really done with. That would help for uh, basically just... You know, falling through the world whenever we need to. If we need to go jump down a jungle again or anything like that, it just really help. Or even just fall down here and stuff. Man, I love the bee's knees. So good. 
So good. I could just see us wrecking the wall of flesh with this. I really could. If we had the expert mode item as well, that'd be that'd be absolutely perfect right now. I'll take the water leaf. Oh, I'll take the free day bloom as well, because I'm, I'm waiting for some of them to grow. All right, I can't, so I'll get rid of my sticky bombs. I'll also get rid of my silt. I'll get rid of the red husk. Okay, this is good. This is good. Hey, two starting things as well. Oh, wow. Oh, I'll take the mining. I need the mining for later on. Right, we'll cut through here. Oh my god. Do you know what? I've had so many of these. Thank you. Thank you, my good man. I will, uh... I'll take that tattered cloth. I'll also take that mining potion. Nice. Good, 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 good. Right, where am I... Right, I don't have any ropes on me, so I'm going to use some dirt for this. Well, this actually wasn't that tall anyway. Right, I thought this was going to be really tall. Right, it's now night time. That's fine. I mean, we're literally just going to be building a, uh, a quick stadium here, I guess. All right, I can actually build this out, so I'm going to use palm wood platforms. Okay, see you later, dude. All right, put a torch up. All right, we'll do it here, because then it's kind of away from the trees. So I'll do... Oh my god. <laughs> right, can I not build over that? Oh, I can. I can. Alright, so we'll do one layer here. And then I'll do one layer here. So I can kind of use my grappling hook to get through it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this platform up here as a longer platform. So I'll, I'll build it past the tree. Just so I've got a bit of a running space. Alright, bees knees here, guys. Okay, let's see. Build this out. Build it out, build it out. Okay, that's fine. So I'll put down a campfire. And we should be good. I'm just going to quickly get rid of some stuff. I'm going to get rid of the shackle. And I'm also going to get rid of... Well, actually, that's going to be it for now. Right, so, buff up. Okay, let's go. Oh, I took my mining potion. Oh, snap. Oh well, like it matters. Like it matters. Okay, we should be good here. Alright, if I'm uh, if I do this right, and to be honest, let's be honest, who's not done this fight a million times? We should be good here. Okay, let's go, go, go. Alright, awesome. Okay, get me back on track. As long as I don't get caught in a head spin, I feel like I'm going to be fine. Alright, we're, we're tackling this dude fast. I mean, look at this. He's almost basically dead. There we go. Right, so he's dead. Awesome. Right, that means we can get a clothy ear now. Whoa, snap. I was not expecting that fall. Right, I will take the golden key to get us started. And then I'll also take this... Uh, this water candle right so i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna end it here guys we're gonna pick up here in the next episode so i promised you guys i'd give you guys the the time left right before the end of the episode we're not here with the cultist so i'll uh, i'll say it now we have 14 days left so we just used a day and a half so we now have 12 and a half all the apocalypse starts with the two masks that brings us back up to 14 so there you go. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check back tomorrow for the new episode. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button. It's the best way to stay up to date with all things Terraria. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.